Have you ever pondered over what gives a country its sovereignty? What makes a country legitimate in the eyes of the world? Let's dive into the fascinating concept of political sovereignty. In simple terms, political sovereignty refers to the supreme authority that a state possesses within its geographical boundaries. It's the power to make laws, regulate affairs and maintain order without any external interference. But it's not just about having control. Political sovereignty also hinges on recognition by other nations. This recognition is what gives a country its legitimacy on the world stage. In the contemporary world, sovereignty is a cornerstone of international law and order. It defines the rights and responsibilities of states, shaping the way they interact with each other. So in essence, sovereignty is not just about control, but also about recognition and acceptance in the international community. It's a complex web of power, authority, and mutual recognition that shapes our world as we know it. Sovereignty has been a fluid concept, changing and adapting with the times. In its earliest modern incarnation, sovereignty was a principle born out of the Peace of Westphalia in the 17th century. This treaty, which ended the Thirty-Year War in Europe, introduced the concept of state sovereignty, effectively allowing nations to govern themselves without external interference. However, the Westphalian system as it came to be known was not without its challenges. The concept of sovereignty was continually tested and redefined by the shifting political and social landscapes. For instance, the colonial era saw the imposition of European sovereignty over indigenous lands, a direct contradiction to the Westphalian principle of non-interference. Fast forward to the 20th century, the two world wars and the subsequent establishment of the United Nations brought about a significant change in the understanding of sovereignty. The UN Charter, while reaffirming the principle of sovereign equality, introduced the idea of conditional sovereignty. This meant that nations could not hide behind the shield of sovereignty to commit atrocities against their own people. The dawn of the 21st century further complicated the concept of sovereignty. With the rise of global networks and institutions, the conversation started to shift towards shared or pooled sovereignty. The European Union is a prime example of this, where member states voluntarily surrender some of their sovereignty for the collective good. The digital age poses another challenge to traditional notions of sovereignty. As we increasingly live and work in cyberspace the question arises, who exercises sovereignty in the digital realm? The answer to this question is still being written but what's clear is that the concept of sovereignty continues to evolve in response to our changing world. In the end, the journey of sovereignty has been a fascinating one. From its Westphalian roots to its current exploration in the digital era, it has been a concept in flux, constantly being reshaped by the forces of history, politics and technology. So we see that sovereignty has been a dynamic concept molded by historical events and the changing world order. Recognition they say is the ultimate form of acceptance. This holds true for countries seeking international legitimacy. But what does international recognition really mean? It is, in essence, an official acknowledgement by other sovereign states that a certain entity also possesses sovereignty. It's rather like a formal invitation to the global party, a nod from the world community that says, yes, you are one of us. International recognition is about more than just diplomatic niceties. It's a vital component of sovereignty, a key to the door of international relations. Without it, a state might as well be a ghost, unseen and unheard in the corridors of global power. Recognition can come in many forms. A formal declaration is the most obvious, but it can also be implied through diplomatic interactions, treaties, and even trade agreements. It's a complex dance, a delicate balancing act of politics and diplomacy. So what does it take to gain this coveted recognition? The criteria can be as varied as the nations themselves. However, some common threads weave through the tapestry of international relations. A government must demonstrate effective control over its territory and population, it must respect the rights of its citizens, and it must abide by international law. But it's not just about checking boxes. Recognition is also about perception, about convincing the world that you are a responsible, reliable member of the global community. It's about showing that you can play by the rules of the global game. Yet it's important to remember that recognition is not a guarantee of stability or success. It is, rather, a starting point, a foundation on which to build. It gives a state the opportunity to participate in international affairs, to make its voice heard, and to influence the course of global events. Indeed, recognition is a powerful thing. It can open doors, create opportunities, and provide a platform for influence and action. 
It's not just about a flag flying at the United Nations or a seat at the table of global discussions. International recognition is not just about a seat at the United Nations, it's about a place in the global community. Now let's delve into some real-world examples to better understand the interplay of sovereignty and international recognition. A fascinating case in point is the Republic of Somaliland, a self-declared sovereign state since 1991. Despite maintaining relative political stability and democratic governance, Somaliland is internationally recognized as part of Somalia, and not as an independent country. This lack of recognition is largely due to the African Union's principle of maintaining colonial-era borders, which hinders the international community's acceptance of new self-declared states. Then we have the case of South Sudan, which declared independence in 2011. It was swiftly recognized by a majority of United Nations member states including its former adversary Sudan. In this instance, the international community was keen to intervene and recognize the new state intending to end decades of war and human rights abuses. The key factors contributing to South Sudan's success in gaining recognition were undoubtedly its political negotiations, international sympathy, and strategic interests of powerful states. In contrast, the Republic of Kosovo, a partially recognized state, declared independence from Serbia in 2008. Over 100 UN member states recognize Kosovo, including the United States, and a majority of EU members. However, countries like Russia, China and India, do not. The split recognition indicates how geopolitical considerations and alliances can influence the recognition of sovereignty. The state of Palestine is another case to consider. Despite being recognized by over 130 countries, its sovereignty is still a subject of intense debate due to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The lack of a peace agreement with Israel and the continued occupation of Palestinian territories are significant hurdles to wider international recognition. Finally, let's look at Taiwan. Despite having a robust economy and a functioning democratic government, it is not recognized by the United Nations due to China's claim over the island and its significant influence in international politics. Taiwan's struggle exemplifies how a powerful adversary can obstruct a self-declared sovereign state's quest for international recognition. These examples highlight the intricate dynamics involved in the recognition of sovereignty. They reveal how international law, geopolitical considerations, historical context, and the strategic interests of powerful states all play pivotal roles. It's not merely a matter of declaring independence. Achieving sovereignty and international recognition is a complex multifaceted process that often involves a delicate balancing act between internal aspirations and external pressures. These cases illustrate the complexities and challenges in achieving sovereignty and international recognition. With the world becoming increasingly interconnected, the concept of sovereignty is bound to face new challenges and transformations. As we delve into the 21st century the notion of sovereignty is expected to evolve in tandem with the rapidly shifting global landscape. Consider globalization for instance. It has blurred national boundaries and made countries more interdependent than ever. This growing interdependence could potentially shake the traditional concept of sovereignty where a state is seen as an independent entity with supreme power over its territory. In the future we might see a more cooperative model of sovereignty where nations work together more closely for shared goals, such as combating climate change or ensuring global cybersecurity. The sovereignty of the future might be about how nations can successfully navigate these shared challenges while maintaining their unique identities and interests. Next, let's consider digital technology. The rise of the digital age has introduced new dimensions to the concept of sovereignty. For instance, data sovereignty has become a crucial issue in recent years. Countries are grappling with questions like who has the right to control data, and where should data be stored and processed. As technology continues to evolve, these questions will only become more complex, and the concept of digital sovereignty will become increasingly important. Lastly, shifting power dynamics will also shape the future of sovereignty. The rise of emerging powers and the relative decline of established ones will lead to a redistribution of global power. This could result in new norms and principles of sovereignty, as emerging powers assert their rights and roles in the international arena. In conclusion, the future of sovereignty will be shaped by a multitude of factors, including globalization, digital technology, and shifting power dynamics. It will be fascinating to see how these factors intertwine and reshape the concept of sovereignty in years to come. As we look ahead, the journey of sovereignty continues, with new paths to explore and new challenges to conquer. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.